Greetings my esteemed subscribers. I'm checking in from an absolutely beautiful Scandinavian autumn nature and uh, where I'm sitting right now I'm actually reminded of uh, the scene where Frodo is um, harmoniously reading before he stumbles upon uh, Gandalf in Lord of the Rings. Absolutely heartwarming scene if anything. So I just thought to make a quick video as a supplement to the previous video I made about um, the gym, five things in the gym, and I focus quite a bit on progression. Uh, that you know you have to push your body, you have to push yourself to, you have to force your body to put on muscles. So you can only do it via putting on weights on the barbell in the gym. Uh, otherwise, the body won't have any incentive to grow. And um, I must say that in the best case scenario, you will progress in everything. So to give an example, when I make training schedules, customized training schedules for clients, many of you, uh, the first thing I want to know is where your strength levels are currently at. So perhaps you are able to do five repetitions on a bench press at 80 kilos. Okay, then I want you to go up to 90 kilos, either via linear progression or via you know, doing cycles, uh, increasing rep ranges until you get to that strength level. Um, the important thing at least is that you get there eventually. Same thing for all the heavy compound movements that I mentioned in the video. Then perhaps if you're injured or anything, perhaps you can't do deadlifts, okay that's that's fine, it is what it is. Um, but you know, you have a progression plan for each of the main exercises that you're able to do. Now, however, important thing to point out here is that perhaps your barbell rows are going much better, perhaps you're able to progress completely no problem at all, but your bench press aren't going as well, maybe it takes a lot more time, a lot more effort to progress, absolutely fine. The optimal scenario is that you progress in everything, if not don't worry about it. So if you stall, don't feel bad about yourself. It's, it's just the way it is. Sometimes it happens and everyone is different. So some guys might have an easier time progressing in a certain exercise, whereas some other guys might have a, an easier time progressing in something completely else. So the point is that the optimal scenario is for you to progress in all exercises. The normal scenario is for you to progress in at least a few of them and then some exercises might lag a bit. And also, even if some exercises are lagging, if you are putting on muscle and size on the other exercises, it will help to get uh, your strength levels up in, um, in the lagging parts. To give an example, before my first powerlifting meet, I didn't do any deadlifts, basically. I only did squats, but when it came to the grand day, I increased my max deadlift anyway, because the overlap, the carryover effect from the squats are so potent. So that's something to keep in mind. And then also if we're talking about life in general, if I'm taking on my philosopher's robe here and I'm meditating upon life itself, you can apply this also. So for example, if you have a few different goals, you have a goal of procuring a fair maiden that you can that you can make your wife and start a family with, but uh, you know things aren't going particularly well. Okay, fine, don't worry about it, take it some other time, you know, focus on yourself a bit more, focus on reaching other goals. Um, perhaps you're hurt, perhaps you can't train in the gym, okay, that's fine, um, not much you can do, but you can at least focus on other things. So if you are you're into some other things, focus on that. Um, same thing if you have you know, you have goals, at least make sure to strive to complete some of them. If you can't do everything, that's also fine. So you can apply this mindset in basically everything. So instead of getting, you know, demoralized because you can't do great things in all avenues of life, yeah, don't worry about it. Just make sure to go forward in some things. And then, who knows, half a year later you might be able to progress in the things that um, you were stalling in. So anyway, that was uh, just some thought I thought to check in with. I hope that was um, helpful to some of you at least. And then of course also, as always, if you haven't read Dauntless, you can um, 
order it in the link in the description box below along with this fine garment Os Armes to arms means getting a sense of urgency best motivating factor by the way to get a sense of urgency both in the gym and in um, in life in general so anyway thank you for watching xxo Ooh.